like my son plays high school and we play Mount Verde, man. You got a turf when? turf practice field, but we can't get a turf regular field. <laughs> we got the Francisco Lindor Middle School. We can't get a turf field. <laughs> that, that's in the works. We're trying right. to get hopefully we get another field so the boys have have more space um, to continue to develop. The the turf field is coming at some point. We just gotta take it little by little. We can't give them everything at the same time. Right. Um, what has spring training been like this year with the new rules? Um, obviously, who knows? They, they, they came out with rules, but who really knows in terms of how it's going to implement? You can you can move different outfielders. You can only pick, mm -hmm. but the catchers can back pick unlimited times. Like I know Buck. Yeah. Buck has definitely read everything to the T. So how's, how's the new rules yeah, working? There's, there's a lot of different rules um, that some of them are – dumb <laughs> and, and, and some of them are like yeah i like it you know wait which one's dumb well i didn't which ones are dumb i mean i i i can't be on the grass when the pitcher it's even coming set like I, before the pitcher even comes set i have to be on the dirt you know what i'm saying like it, it it's, it's like what's a step on the grass so then i can creep into the dirt you know when the ball is being released yeah let me be on the dirt but after that let me, you know, let me be on the grass and like preset and start come forward and on the dirt. So like when Stanton's hitting, you can't back up three steps and I play because he ain't gonna bunt. But yeah, you like, rather yeah you open yourself up for the range. You can't Correct. Do that. And I and I get the you know the the more room you give in the grass, you know, people start playing with it and then the shift is pretty much back. I get uh, that, but you know, at least one step in the grass where I can pre pitch and land on the. Um, there. I don't yeah. know if you remember, but we were teammates for one spring training. Yeah, I remember. Do you remember the line drive that was hit at you on the backfield? That hit the bill of my cap? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you tell the story, and if you leave anything out, I will fill it in because yeah. that was the end of your day. All I remember is just the ball coming at me and just hitting literally like the bill of my Ooh. cap. Yeah. I, I struggled for a couple of years catching line drives. Because <laughs> <laughs> of that. <laughs> I mean, the ball came. You were stand, You were ready for it. Yeah. Your hat was perfectly flat, exactly like it is now. Yeah. And you were ready for it, and it knuckled, mm -hmm. and it hit you square in the brim. For mm -hmm. I mean, it flattened. It bent the front of your brim right where mm -hmm. that ball hit, and yeah. you had the biggest scared look. Mister Smile was Mister Afraid because your <laughs> eyes were as big as your smile. Yeah. You hey. thought that was going to be the end of your season, and whoever yeah. hit the ball thought they were going to get cut. I, I'll, I, I will never forget that. I can only have big lips. I can't have big nose and big lips <laughs> at the same time. I, I, just, I wouldn't be able to see. Hey, <laughs> hey Frankie, who are you going to play short for for Puerto Rico? Or are you playing third? Baez, what's with no I'm Correa? Playing, I'm playing short. I'm playing short. And who? So Javi will move to third. Second. Second. Who's going to play third? I don't know. Yadi, that's up to Yadi. Let Yadi deal with that one. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, How'd you I guys think... figure that out? Rock, paper, scissors? Whoever has the most career dingers? What is it? No, last WBC, I played short. And yeah. we kind of stick with that. Um, Javi was the second. Um, Correa was the third. Um, were, were you guys were you guys pissed to not have Correa on, on Puerto Rico's team and on the Mets? Like, did you guys, Were you guys like, let's go and then hold up? I, I have learned in my career to not get too excited. Into the paper is is not signed. You don't, don't get excited. Right. It doesn't mean anything until you actually sign that paper, because anything can happen. In those it's it's funny, man. Those physicals. It's sometimes you feel like they're coming out to get you. Hey, Francisco, how awesome is it just in general? Because I remember we were hanging out a little bit last year at spring training. Um, to to be a Met, like now you've been all settled in. I'm saying team wise, Stevie Cohen spending money left and right, like. Most of my family, Mets fans for a long time, went through a lot of shit growing up, right? And now, like, they are the talk of baseball. Like, there's a big free agent, Mets are all over it. 90% of the time, they're checking that guy out. You know, like, the, Steve Cohen's like the George Steinbrenner in a good way, where, you know, George would be like, we're going to spend as much as we want to be, like, the empire of the league. Yeah, no, it feels great. It's it's a great vibe right now in the clubhouse. Great vibe in the city. When both teams are good in in New York, the city is it's it's vibing and uh, it, it's fun to be a Met right now. Um, I'm enjoying the ride. Whenever I put the same, whenever the front office is putting the same amount of energy, the players are putting on the field. 
um, good things happen. So I'm looking forward to it. Uh, we have a great manager, a great front office, and our our team is, is great. Francisco, was, have you found out what's in Buck's pocket when he runs out to the mound? He puts the two fingers in, like, the side pocket, and he runs out like so – Has anyone ever figured out what's this, in that pocket? This, this spring training, for the first time I saw that pocket, he's got, he's got a pocket in the front yeah, of he, his he makes Yeah, him, he makes them him a pocket. Yeah, and, he runs out of the mound with his hands mm-hmm. in the pocket. He like, oh, boy. So I, I asked him, I was like, Buck, what well, you got a pocket there? And he goes, you want me to tell you the truth? I'm like, of course. And he goes, back in the days, managers used to put their cigarettes in there. Mm-hmm. And then it became illegal. Then they, they did it in their arm. They did it in their jerseys. They did it in different spots. But I just got used to it. So he puts it there. What's in there? I don't know. He don't smoke, so I don't know. Francisco, <laughs> I know. Are you playing today, by the way? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, we appreciate you coming on, man. Yeah, I mean, man. this shit's brand new. Bringing on all the big boys. We got Max. We'll get some... Some uh, 30 minutes of max next week on, on the rules and all that. Can't wait. But um, big uh, big lunch for you and AJ on, on David Meter at some point in Orlando. How about that? I've been boys with Done. David for a long time, his agent. Done. Let's, David. Let's, he, he's been making money. Let's make, him, let's make sure he pays. <laughs> yeah, there you he's go. Hey, I'll take yeah. any free meal. I'll take any free meal from anybody. <laughs> Business is good man. for David. Come on, David. <laughs> we got a big lunch We got to go somewhere else. Pasta, it, it could be a little cheap. So let's take him somewhere else. Hey, Christine, <laughs> get the cheap. Now we start throwing the wine in. You know, we start throwing in the Alfredo. It gets you expensive. see, the, the, wine, the wine is where it gets you. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm easy with the wine. You know, wife pregnant, so I just go one glass. You know, I don't. You know, and then I got to drive back, so there's no, 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 no I'm going half. Hey, Francisco, we really appreciate it. I hope you can come on again sometime. Good luck at the WBC. We love having you here, man. Thank you.